The cry goes on, thundering and rending the air. The lost voice of studentry has finally returned. The militant struggle of the studentry paved way for the comeback of a long disputed issue of campus press freedom, the Angelite. After long and grueling dialogues, discussions, and not to mention boycotts, the Angelite has finally resurrected from the grave triumphantly and peacefully with more of anything the students can ask for. On November 29, 1985, the Angelite editorial examination, which was given by the University Student Council, headed by Chairman Pedrito Pineda, and was administered by members of the faculty, Ms. Cecil Yumul and Ms. Edna Santos, both from the College of Education. The test was given to determine who will qualify for the several positions in the school paper. The results were announced by the USC on December 16, 1985 and were written on posters prominently displayed in the different locations inside the campus. Fifteen examinees qualified with Mamerto Mercado, a BS MIE student topping the said examination. At present, the Angelite initiates various projects such as Digma Ang Rosas, the Angelite Literary Folio, which was a finalist in the 2001 Catholic Mass Media Award for Best Literary Folio category, and also in the 6th Regional Press Conference on October 25, 2006, where it proved to be the best literary folio in the region. The Angelite also releases Balikat, the official feature folio of Holy Angel University. The publication also holds different events that involves the student participation. In 2001, Pamiyabe, the National Creative Writing Fellowship of the Angelite, was born. In 2006, the award-giving body Kawa Digma Ang Rosas paved its way to promote Kapampangan literature and to identify the best fictionists and poets in the university. And finally, the most prestigious award for the most outstanding angelite comes to light on March 17, 2007, pioneering the first angelite of the year, in line with the celebration of the angelite at 70. Seventy years ago, the Angelite was born. It has survived at least one decade of regime, and is still now acclaimed as the region's oldest existing campus publication. Through the years, the paper still serves as the concrete expression of the students' artistic, creative, and progressive skills in writing. It serves as a necessary conduit among the academic community and most important of all it serves as the voice of the studentry a catalyst for change heard it out in there.